Chamaroche, Chamaroche. I'm Carla Brundage, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about this exchange. A few years ago back, just come back from Cote d'Ivoire, West Africa, where I had been living for three years. And I thought, wouldn't it be really cool if we had an international poetry exchange? And so with Sir Black from Ahala Casa and other poets, we founded West Oakland to West Africa. And I was inspired by Ajun Jordan, Poetry for the People, Ishmael Reed, KRS-One, and other revolutionary Afrocentric leaders. But what influenced me the most was how Sankofa, or this idea of returning to our roots and um, an exchange based on culture, could help us and hopefully ultimately end violence in our communities. And Sankofa teaches us that we must go back to our roots in order to move forward. So my organization, West Oakland to West Africa, provides a sustained exchange and connects members of the African diaspora and Africa through creative writing. Chamaroche, chamaroche. Chamaroche, chamaroche, say to chinchu, chamaroche, chamaroche, say to chinchu, chamaroche, chamaroche. Sitting on the back porch, she reaches for starlight and her fingers pluck memories from sky as sirens wail a song of death. The hole in her heart grown now grown round enough for her to slip into its dark depths as she sits smoking a new port, a tear tickling her nose. She wants him back her sunshine, but no marches, no juries, no prayers will resurrect his precious body, a threat. And so she sits on the back porch, remembering. She sits on the back porch, remembering, remembering the events as the images unfold. Remembering the images as they unfold like a rolled strip of horror films ready to be washed in the dark room to tell a gothic story. Going down memory lane, I remember that she is me. He was clothed in a black and white striped shirt. All I perceived was sweat. All I saw was filth. All I felt was dirt. I look at my floors and I want to put a president there. I don't know too many more words than this group therapy is pulling out of me, pulling out all this mix up murder on television, gray market tantrums of a typical aristocracy's day in the African sun, words by one of these atoms, alternate letters underneath army state activities, the big day on the continent now riding in local. We will be dancing on that corner forever, an abomination to the grandmothers. I remember when he, he uttered, I can't breathe. The world closed its eyes in horror. Fentions, hatred, rolled furiously around us like a poisonous wind. Our intestines coiled inside us in shame and in utter despair. We wondered how a man can do such a heinous act to his own brother. Why and for what reason? I remember. When he wriggled on the ground, he called upon his mama to plead for his case. But his mama had long gone into the winds. She only could hear, but could not answer. And I question if secondhand smoke was the real danger. There were no classroom talks on secondhand quickness to cuss a nigga out secondhand urges to buy that hat instead of those collard greens, secondhand need to isolate and be on the lookout constantly, secondhand distrust of whiteness, though it is in my skin feeding me self-hate. It would have been helpful for both of us for the school to bring in some speakers telling us to just say yes to creating the world we want to live in instead of a world with an answer to a question that don't exist. You didn't get a chance to say how much it pained you to live in a world that questioned your existence. So I am saying it now. I am listening now. I am from a place where women are told to end their dreams in the kitchen like broken plates that can never be fixed. 
Mama will sit me outside her makeshift store, dangling pain on her neck like a label, wearing a blouse and wrapper with sacrifice boring holes in them. She would then tell me stories of our youth, how she sold the chicken suits to send herself to school because her father wouldn't, then sacrifice that straight A's results to get married to Papa. I come from a place where women shrink beautiful thoughts and daring dreams. Colorful angels fill sky, wings dip in morning dew, sweetness scents horizons. This poem is for those who left too soon and the wandering souls trapped, unable to return or find home. Kidnapped and sold to soul catchers, we are forgotten much along the way, but our tongues remain attached to our hearts and speak truth. At five months old, I was most likely already magic. Probably had been that way from the start or before, born with a call over my face, eyes and all. Likely was magic right away. Trials and tribulation follow magic and they done followed me all my life. Always had to be magic just to hold the idea of me surviving odds and failing to be a statistic. I'm sorry, that, that's, that's amazing. I did it, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. <laughs> that was trippy when I was listening to it. <laughs> How do you read water? Does it come as a steamed morning dew or divine vaporized breath? Perhaps. None can enter but through me. I move the world with my mind while eating vegetables and sipping green tea. I am distant galaxies. I am dual realities. Yes, your majesty is the only thing you should say to me. I am audacity. I am sacrifice. I am everything you need except Lily White. I am not your cotton. My life is not for sale. So keep your self-hatred and fragility over there with them. I said, no, I am not your slave. Either stand with me or get out of my way. I'm a statue with wings, utility pole, evergreen. I persist in mist and wind and among achromatic insects wondering at the tongue of the moth at it, as it sucks nectar from the wild orchid nearby, flits to a flower higher in the canopy. Patch me to this swirling existence, woman, goddess, fighter, truth teller, accommodationist, no more. I speak with a mouthful of twisted galaxies on my tongue, Blessings that become a whirlpool of stars and planets and stardust and half-bitten moons and dark matter. Bending a prism of light to radiate through our lustful souls. When was the last time you loved like the universe whispered free in your ear? When was the last dream where you shed these makeshift bones and testified that a body is a small cup of this universe's river? How do you begin your being from the beginning or the end? I dream in sunflowers always. Let the rays cool love all the way up my spine, twisted into a fistful of emotions, a rainbow serpent sliding about this earth as protector of my wildest memories. How do you pronounce your soul as dark or light? I am pink in theory originally red, bursting like millions of conjoined suns. I am all that God is and will ever become.
Thank you, everyone. Um, we've had a really amazing exchange. There's more to come. Uh, we'll be putting together a book, and then we'll have subsequent readings. So people who have not, who were not able to read this time, hopefully, will be able to read next time. Thank you so much. Ae yali kamoro yali mbongo Kenya Chamaro che chamaro che Chamaro che chamaro che Seito chinchugu chamaro che chamaro che Seito chinchugu chamaro che chamaro che Ae yali kamoro yali mbongo Kenya Chamaro che chamaro che Chamaro che chamaro che Seito chinchugu chamaro che chamaro che Seito chinchugu chamaro che chamaro che. Ae yali kamoro yali mbongo Kenya.